So zero one C is, is uh, sitting here on the ECX switch. This router from the service provider is plugged into the ECX switch on the, on the Z side. Remember we talked earlier about this is Z side, this is A side. So the 01C MAC address needs to find its way over and be in the same broadcast domain as a 01D MAC address on the respective cloud provider. The way we do that is a thing called a route instance. So a route instance is something that gets built dynamically when you build a connection. And the route instance is stitched across the ECX switch like that. So now this route instance is going to take the 01C MAC address and put this 01C MAC address on the other side of the ECX switch. The other side of this ECX switch is connected to the respective cloud provider's infrastructure. So in this case, 01C started out here, gets encapsulated, and I should draw another component here. So here is the EVPM control plane. And again, the EVPM control plane is what I'm, I'm going to use across these two VXLAN tunnel endpoints to take this MAC address and move it to this point right here. Once I move that MAC address from this point to this point, I create another EVPM control plane across the ECX switch using a route instance. And then, so I've got two EVPN control planes that are stitched together, control plane, to move the MAC address 01C to put it on this interface. Once this 01C MAC address ends up on this interface, we do head-end replication, it's called BOM uh, head-end replication, broadcast unknown unicast and multicast replication. And we just replicate that out this interface to this interface on the router. So now 01C, 01D here are in the same broadcast domain. So very simplified way of looking at it up here is what we did. We took 01C, sent it across a control plane to create the broadcast domain. The control plane that we used to, to build all this on is an EVPN control plane here. And then we take this VXLAN network identifier here, stuff the VNI 7410 across this EVPN infrastructure. It stops here, I have to create another EVPN infrastructure using a route instance, so it shows up right here on this interface. Once it shows up right, uh, right here on this interface, it's gonna broadcast this 01C MAC address out to the respective cloud provider. It's pretty complicated, but it works. You don't have to really worry about it. It, it just works, this is how it's spun up. This is what the whole underlying you know, the infrastructure does. But I just want to give you an overview of what a, a packet block looks like throughout the entire infrastructure, how we build a control plane, and how we build a data plane. So the control plane is EVPN, and the data plane is VXLAN. So control plane is going to, going, to, going, to, going to build the underlying infrastructure so you can build peering over. So once these two interfaces are in the same broadcast domain, you know, then I can create layer three and then, you know, BGP pairing in the case of a cloud provider. Once that's established, then this router is talking to this router and I've established connectivity from a network case device to my respective cloud provider. Again, a lot of stuff happening here with the control plane, and the data plane, you don't have to worry about it, but you know, it's a good discussion point. Sometimes, Customers that really like to take a deep dive uh, want to know how it works. This is all documented on the external website, so you don't have to memorize it. But I just wanted to draw the steps from, from left to right and show you how it all flows.